Hello Earthlings, we are here today to test the E-Taker F2000 if it can charge this 48 volts 100 amp battery. So our setup is that this E-Taker is getting power from that alt van, van's alternator and in this 200 watt solar panel. So you add those 800 watts coming from the van plus 200 watt coming from the solar and by the way this is the e-taker f1000 the little brother of the f2000 but before we start checking the app we need to see the spec of this battery because it you know it varies the setting would depend on your battery spec sheet. For my battery, the charging voltage is 58.4 volts. So you check yours because this E-Taker F2000 can charge a 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volt battery. And you check your own battery spec and adjust according to that. So yeah, once again, this is the setup we're getting from that 800 watts alternator and a 200 watt solar panel. Okay, let's take a look at the app. Okay, here's the app. We can see the animation that there's the flow coming from the car and from the solar. The car is pumping at around 800 watts, which is, that's the limit you have a 12 volt alternator. So 800 watts plus 141 watt coming from solar equals 1000 watt. wonder why it's 1000 watt, the output is 1000 watt. I don't know where it's getting some of the energy or electricity, but that's how we are charging the 48 volts battery. Maybe we are actually getting more than 800 watts from the alternator port, or maybe we're getting more than 135 watts from the solar. So how did I set this up? First of all, go to the alternator and you can see that charging power limit is at 800 watt. That is the maximum again, like I said, that's the maximum for 12 volts. I mean, 800 watt is the maximum 12 volt alternator. Then go to the DC port and go to the charge battery tab. Right there, it's highlighted right here. And we check that my battery can charge at 58.4 volts, but there is no 58.4, so the closest is 58.5, so that's what I set. And I also set the charging current at 20 amps. So check your specs. Mine can actually be charged at 200 amp, but I just wanted to put the 20 amp limit because we're not getting more than that anyway, or at least for our setup right now. So as you can see, we are getting 983 watts. So I'm not sure why the alternator port went to 760 watt, but the van is now running like maybe I need to rev it up or something like that because I tried my smaller car that has 90 amp alternator and it won't even pump close to 800 watt. I need to rev it so I can get more. But from idle, it was I was only like charging it around 400 watt. So again, it depends on your alternator how strong it is. The van has obviously has a big alternator and it can pump 800 watt during idle. The smaller ones, you need to rev your car or you have to drive around so that you can get more. Anyway, so this is what it looks like and actually I'm, I'm gonna show you the app of the uh, DC house battery just to confirm that we're getting 981 watts. So here it is. Not sure why it's not connecting but let's let's try to connect. Alrighty. Yeah, so as you can see, the total power is 922 watts, which is close to the numbers that we see from the eTaker app. Yeah, I really like this DC house. It's like I got it for $640 and I think it deserves its own review. So probably I'm going to make a video on this. You can see that it's pretty good. Anyways, let's go back to the eTaker F2000. This e-taker F2000 can charge any kind of battery like this lithium iron phosphate or even SLA. It has like three stage. I'm not sure what's the three stage, but I know there's the float, there's a bulk, 
and uh, maybe I'm not sure what's the other one so it does charge regular battery not just power stations I want to show you guys what happens if I turn off the alternator part what happens to the output charge and do an experiment on that so right now I'm gonna turn off the alternator part okay so it's off zero watt so what happened now we're just getting 130 watt going to the 48 volts battery so that's what happened it's okay it's still it's still fine it still works now i'm gonna turn it on there you go you can see the numbers you can see it's going up what happens if we turn off the solar turn it off now you can see 799 yeah that is weird okay so for some reason, I'm still getting more than 796 watts. You see, it's like 869 watts going to the, the battery. So my guess is that, you know what? I don't know. But hey, you know what? I think that's better, isn't it? <laughs> We're getting more. Anyways, yeah, so that is why if you add both alternator and the solar, you're getting more because the alternator port is actually pumping more than what is showing. Okay, let's turn it back on the solar. Okay, 129 watts from the solar plus the alternator, 968, which looks good to me. Also, try to see my other video. I tried to use the F2000 to jumpstart my car. Go ahead and check that out. See you later. Bye.